Sadly, the Daily Bugle is going to take me a lot longer to complete than I originally anticipated. Primarily because I made a huge miscalculation on parts. So I can get back to other builds, what I'm going to start by doing is cleaning up the entire mess that I have from working on the flat iron building. And start working on some of the projects that I've had on the back burner for quite a while and already own all the pieces for. Which is a huge benefit and savings to me. The gross miscalculation is all my error. What it is, is most of the parts I calculated correctly, at least I think I did at this point, but the rest of them, I only accounted for the parts for one side of the building. So here I am at the fifth floor of construction and I'm already out of some of my parts. Due to it being so close to Christmas, I am gonna have to wait to be able to do a lot more work on this, but that's okay. We're gonna start doing a lot of other really cool things. I'm gonna get back to working on the Winter Village, and then I also have some really cool plans for the Lego Barn. The flat iron building itself is amazing looking, at least I'm very happy with the progress that I've made. I am at the fifth floor. Keep in mind, I'm not worrying about interior details at this current moment in time, as I will do them at a later date, because this building, as it sits, I'm already at over 25,000 pieces without any interior detail at all. So this is gonna be one of those one year or more long projects to try and finish it and finish it in the manner and fashion that I really wanna do. Now real quickly, I wanna explain some of the techniques I'm using to accomplish the shape of the building. One of the first things is, this is the tubing that I sell and I'm using this on all my corners quite simply because it makes the corners very strong and it keeps the building in its perfect shape. That shape obviously being a triangle. And this is exactly what I'm doing on every corner. I even have the tubing in it just to show you how it works. By me putting the tubing through it, I can pull on this even on the corners. And even though it tries to pull apart, because that tubing's there, it keeps it together, which makes the building very strong. And I'm all about techniques that are improvements on strength. As far as the texture, most of this is accomplished simply by using a lot of snot bricks. Here's a piece of the building that I have yet to fill in. And as you can see, the whole wall is nothing but snot brick. You can see, again, there's snot bricks and some standard bricks there. But by simply applying these pieces, which these are the horns off of a tauntaun, it's adding a whole bunch of really amazing looking details to the side of this building. The other technique that I'm using is, as you can see in here, these are just plates that are inside out. And that's accomplished from using a lot of these Technic bricks right here. You can kind of see the pattern that I'm having to do to accomplish that from looking inside. Now let's get bricking on some more amazing projects. 